On East 10th Street in Indianapolis, life is growing. But I mean, it's 70 degrees year round. It's starting to look pretty. I mean, look at this rainbow one right here. In an unexpected place. And then we put them back up in the wall. And they'll grow here to become mature plants. We'll put one ounce of produce in there. This is a working farm called New Age Provisions, where panels of organic herbicide-free foods are grown through a process called hydroponics. On a vertical wall, and this is how we grow the majority of our herbs here. It's vertical farming that has huge benefits compared to traditional farming. And this is the perfect environment that plants need to grow. Demario Vitalis began this business with no farming experience, which made it hard to get loans. The newness of it itself presented some challenges and people just had to get over the paradigm that you can grow hydroponically inside of a shipping container. But he had something more important roots. Growing up, you know, my grandmother, she is from the South. Three of my grandparents are from the South. They were raised on the farm that they were once slaves on. Used to talk to her about her experiences on the farm. She would tell me different stories. Vitalis never saw the plots of Mississippi land where his grandparents farmed, but in a way, he felt he knew them by heart. I typically go through here, pick off all the dead plant leaves, and then admire the beauty of the plants. So much so that when he put his own roots down in Indianapolis, he made sure to grow those too. Um, which is why I chose like collard greens and mustard greens and being able to have those type of uh, soul foods, you would say. Much of Indianapolis is considered a food desert, but Vitalis's farm is helping provide hyper-local food. It's, it's huge for me, to, one, to have an opportunity to share my knowledge with people who don't have the opportunity to be exposed to it, and not only as well, but to show people who look like me that there's opportunities outside of traditional farming. And over the years, he's watched his business blossom from something small into something really beautiful. So even though you don't have access to land, even though you don't have knowledge for traditional farming, there's still turnkey systems out there that will help you get back into farming and be able to produce fresh foods and vegetables for your community. Let's start with, uh, what was the one we use? We'll do some green butter. See, I like, I like this container. <laughs> I done fell in love with being a farmer, you know?